let's take a look here at API tokens. So Terraform Cloud supports three types of API tokens, users, teams, and organization tokens. So for organization API tokens, they have permissions across the entire organization. Each organization can have one valid API token at a time. Only organization owners can generate or revoke an organization token. Organization API tokens are designed for creating and configuring workspaces and teams. They're not recommended as all purpose interfaces to Terraform Cloud. So basically you just use them when you are setting up your organization for the first time and you wanna do it pragmatically, okay? Then you have team API tokens. So this allows access to workspaces that the team has access to without being tied to any specific user. Each team can have one valid API token at a time any member of a team could generate or revoke that team's token. When a token is regenerated, the previous uh, token is immediately becomes invalid, designed for performing API operations on the workspaces, same access level to the workspace the team has to access to. I would imagine this is when you're setting up your own custom CI CD pipelines or something like that. Um, I'm not really sure exactly the use case for team API tokens. We have user API tokens, the most flexible token type because they inherit permissions from the user they are associated with. Uh, could be for a real user or a machine user. When you do Terraform login, this is what you're getting, a, a, um, a user API token, okay?